Hey everyone, it's your girl, hashtag JLoan. And I'm coming at you at the end of my day because I know that you're hearing it. I know that there's uh, a lot of talk about what interest rates are doing and where they are and that interest rates have dropped. And so I have been doing my due diligence to get in contact with my uh, clients that have closed in the past and talk to them about refinancing. And whereas most of them, there is benefit, and then some of them see the benefit, but they're scared to make a move, um, or there could be other factors that play into that. I wanted to answer the question of, should I refinance, and will it benefit me in the long run, in the short term? Because sometimes you may not see a huge, um, you may not see a huge benefit right away, but over the long time, or the long term of the loan, there definitely is benefit. So hopefully you can see my board and it's the right way because to me it's backwards, but hopefully you can see it. So I, I wanted to take a simple scenario and kind of show you how you can use refinancing to your benefit, not just in lowering your interest rate and lowering your payment, okay? So to everyone that's on there, hey Poppy, hey Hugh, so we're talking about refinancing. So I'm gonna take a, a simple scenario of a loan that, that I've done. And I've saved as much as a client $500 a month to $150 a month, okay? So it's every loan scenario is different. And I must say, you know, credit score, loan to value, everything goes into play on what interest rate you get. So you may see that there's super low interest rates and then you call and then the lender tells you something different. It's because rates are specific to your story and your story isn't the same as someone else's story. So I'm gonna use this scenario, okay? So we're gonna take a $250,000 purchase price and let's just say they bought last year, hypothetically, okay? At 4.875%, okay? This interest rate, principal and interest of that payment is going to be $1,323.02 a month, okay? Now, if they refinance this year, once again, I have to use hypothetical rates because I'm not allowed to really talk in specific rates, but let's just say that same loan amount, um, as you all know, <laughs> when you pay on a mortgage from one year to the next, you pretty much owe the same thing. So let's just say $250,000 now is, let's just say 3.75% interest rate once again. I'm speaking of a hypothetical interest rate because I'm not allowed to talk about specific interest rates. So that now changes your payment to $1,157.79 a month, okay? So your savings a month between this mortgage and this mortgage is basically $165.23 a month, if my calculation is correct. Okay, so now if you take the savings and, and in the initial, you, you may say, gosh, $165, but $165 is actually a lot of money. And if you multiply this $165 times 360 months that are in a 30-year mortgage, that actually equals over $59,000 in savings. If you make all of your payments, you never make an extra payment because if you make an extra payment, it throws it all off. So this would be your $59,000 savings over the life of the loan, okay? Now, if I wanna take it a little step further, let's just say you're comfortable with this payment right here. You're comfortable with 1323, but you still wanna take advantage of the lower interest rate. So what I would advise you, I'm not sure about other loan officers, but what J-Loan would advise you is that you refinance, but you continue to make your original payment of 1323.02. And how you would do that is you would send the 1157.79, okay? And in a totally separate check, because it's very key that you send your extra payments in a separate check and put in the memo to principal balance only, because if you don't do it that way and you write them one lump sum check, the lender wants their money, so they're gonna apply it to their interest first. 
So writing a totally separate check, 1157 goes towards your mortgage and the 165 goes towards your, your principal balance, okay? If you continue to make that, if you do this on this loan right here, you will shorten your loan by basically six years. It's 23 years, 11 months, okay? So if you continue to make this payment right here, you're gonna shorten your mortgage by, actually you're gonna pay it off in 23 years, 11 months, okay? Now, if we multiply that savings, because now you're saving six years and one month of your mortgage payments, okay? Now you're gonna save that. So that's gonna be a savings of $84,518.67, uh, $84, okay? That's your savings just by continuing to make this, this payment right here if you can. And you're gonna shorten your mortgage by basically six years. So if you can't afford this, why wouldn't you still want to take advantage of that? Even if it costs you $5,000 to refinance. And the difference between purchases and refinances is if your home has the equity, okay? If your home has the equity, you can roll all of those costs into the loan. And yes, it's gonna alter these numbers some, but I, I, I urge you to take $5,000 and divide it by 360 60 months. That's about how much it's going to change your payment by. So think about refinancing to take advantage. You can still make this payment and now you do what everybody wants to do, which is pay off their loan earlier. Okay? So don't just not do it out of fear. And there's that person that says, well, what if... I just stay in this mortgage and I'll make extra payments. Well, granted, you can always make extra payments. That's never gonna change. But let's just say you did. You know I calculated it. So let's just say you stayed here because you were fearful of refinancing, okay? And now you say, well, I'm gonna make this extra payment a month. So now, you actually are going to pay $165 a month extra where you could have been here, plus another $165 a month. So you're going to pay $330.46 more a month and still pay off your loan in six years early. You're still going to pay your loan off six years earlier, but because you're paying $330.46 more a month, if we multiply that times the amount of years you have left, so let's just say you pay 12 months and you're gonna start on your 13th payment. So now you have uh, 29 months and it says you'll pay it off in 24 months. So we're gonna multiply that times 24, uh, sorry, 24 years times 12, which is 288 months, okay? You're gonna multiply that times 288 months because you wanna pay off your mortgage in the same amount of time that I showed you here. Now, you're going to pay $95,172.48 more just by staying here and doing this because you don't want to spend the money to refinance or even consider refinancing. So this is for all my fearful borrowers out there. If you're fearful about refinancing, it's just a quote, right? You just call and you say, hey, is this beneficial? There has to be a benefit for you to refinance. We can't just refinance you for our own personal gain. There has to be a benefit. There's a sheet that we feel out that tells you there has to be a benefit. But don't stay here. And especially to my clients that have used down payment assistance before, 2017, 2018, those rates were as high as 6.125%. You specifically would benefit greatly by lowering your interest rate. And if you still want to make the same payment, you can and you'll save money. I don't know about you, but saving money is super important to me. And even if you didn't want to pay it off early, you're still saving $165 a month. And if you multiply that times 12, that's how much you're saving a year. So really consider 
getting a quote about refinancing. If I was your loan officer, if I wasn't your loan officer, you had a bad experience, whatever it may be, you want to call and take advantage of today's rates. I don't know what tomorrow promises. I don't know what rates will do. I really don't even get into that. I don't play the market. Everybody who knows me knows I don't like to lose money. If I have the opportunity to save money on my mortgage, I'm going to call and at least get a quote. It's a free, no obligation quote to just see is this beneficial. That's just one way that you could refinance. You can take your 30 year and for the same payment, maybe go to a 25 year. If you're in a 15, how about a 10 for the same payment? Think about how much money you would save every time you cut your years off of your mortgage. I just showed you here how much money you would save over the life of the loan if you decided to refinance. So I know this video is live and it's, it's, it's a longer one of my videos, but I know that there's a reason why people aren't all refinancing. I mean, I, I have tons of my clients that are refinancing. This is a great month for refinancing. It's a great month for me giving back to my clients and showing them that I am paying attention to their file and that they can save money on their files. And luckily, if you bought your home last year or the year before, every one of my clients' houses are worth more and we've been able to roll into the cost. I involve your realtor into the transaction to kind of say, hey, what are comps for in the area? I try not to put you in a situation where you have to bring money to closing. Okay, that's not every situation that's ideal, but think about it. Would you pay $5,000 or $3,500 to save $84,000? I, I think that the numbers show itself. So anyways, it's your girl, hashtag J and I know I haven't done a video in a long time and I've been meaning to do this one for a long time, but if you have any questions or if you have any concerns about doing a refinance or doing a mortgage purchases, if you didn't purchase last year and because you couldn't qualify for what you wanted to, now's the time to check again because interest rates are lower and maybe you qualify for more than you did last year and now is a good time to buy. So I'm gonna read through my comments real quick and then I gotta get out of here to get my kids to practice. But let me read through my comments and see if there's a way that I can help you. So let's see who's here. All right, I said, hi, Poppy, hey. Hey, Greg, Christopher Washington, Dave, what's up, Bubba? Amy, JJ, nobody has any questions. Let's just see, when do you plan to be licensed in Georgia? I don't know if I have any plans to be licensed in Georgia. I do commercial all over the place, but as far as residential, I'm not licensed in Georgia. Um, I do actually have a lot of friends in Georgia. It may be something I consider, but I have great loan officers that work for my company in Georgia, and they would be more than happy to help you. So still reach out to me, and I promise that I'll, I'll get you with something. So, I should use J-Loan. You absolutely should use J-Loan, Fred. I don't know what you're waiting on. Darian, what's up, man? I'm still waiting on my workout. Dave, great information, absolutely. Jatoon, who's on here? Kay, what's up? P-Dub, what's up? So everybody's watching. All right, so y'all watch this video, but most importantly, what helps me is if you share this video, okay? So don't just like it. I'm gonna finish the video but I want you to share the video because someone on your timeline needs to see this video. Someone's on the fence and they're nervous about refinancing and they just need the information. My number is 817-601-5456. And if they wanna email me or inbox me on Facebook just to throw a scenario out there, cash out, whatever you need. You wanna pay off debt, you have the equity. Maybe you don't have a mortgage, you wanna put a mortgage on it. Let me help you to help your family, to help your future. Um, as always, I love y'all. Have a blessed day. I got to get out of here. Talk to you soon. Mwah!